Meanwhile, the Member of Parliament for Exuma and Ragged Island, Chester Cooper, believes the Grand Lucayan deal will cost taxpayers $100 million. Cooper says the people in Grand Bahama need help and government's resolution raises more questions than answers. He was speaking on the resolution in the House of Assembly Thursday afternoon. This purchase, in my opinion, Mr. Speaker, is not about saving the Grand Bahamian economy, as there's clearly no plan presented to do that. Nothing presented today or otherwise that addresses the fundamental challenges of its tourism product. This purchase is not about helping the people of Grand Bahama, in my opinion. Well, the Exuma and Ragged Island MP says government should consider other ways to help employees at the Grand Lucayne Resort. Perhaps the government could have subsidized the losses of the hotel as they're doing now in this deal. Perhaps at a minimum, government could have and ought to have forced Hutchinson to honor the union's agreement and pay out severances according to our law and then rehire the employees that they need if they wish to be reemployed. So get the vendor to pay the people. If you're really concerned about the people, get the vendor to pay them what they owe them. Perhaps the government could have insisted on this to continue to receive many of the concessions that Hutchinson now does.